This is a gluten-free turkey burrito meal. So what I'm doing here is I'm using three pounds of ground turkey, some black beans, whatever variety of rotel that you like, some diced tomatoes, and two packages of chicken taco mix. Now since it's almost 95 degrees out here, I'm uh, going to cook outside on a propane grill using my little tiny propane tank and the grill itself. The reason for that is I don't really want to run up my air conditioning bill any more than I have to. So cooking outside, the heat stays outside and I can go inside. So anyways, we're browning the meat. We'll return back when the meat's nicely browned and continue on with the video. Here's a special tip for people who are using propane stoves and like to save propane. When you're browning the meat, make sure you cover it. Just uh, use a little bit of a lower setting on the propane uh, stove and then just you know occasionally take the lid off the meat and stir everything around a little bit. That meat will brown a lot quicker and you'll use a lot less propane. And also, don't cook on high. You know, cook down at a lower level so you don't burn the meat and you use far less propane and cook just as quickly as you would if you used full power. Okay, so the meat is nicely brown. So what we're going to do is turn off the propane stove and I'm going to drain some of this liquid off of here. Now this is a pretty low fat turkey. So there's not much grease in here, but a lot of liquid. And what we want to do is replace this liquid down here with some of these liquids. We're not going to add any water to this like the packet suggests. So what I did is I just saved this can here from the beans and we'll just kind of ladle the liquid out of here. There's nothing wrong with this. You can actually save this liquid for something else. You know, like a stock for some meat or soup or something or you know, if you have a pet in the house, give it to them. They like it. Or you can use it. It just takes a little bit longer to reduce the, uh, the liquid down and evaporate it out while you're cooking it, which is one of the next steps. So this is really not that exciting to watch on a video, so we're going to cut this out. So I'll spare you all this, but go ahead and drain it out. You can do it other ways. You can use a strainer. Um, you, know, you can just leave it in there. You can pour it out. It doesn't really matter. But um, the idea is to make this cook quicker, so that broth in there will probably increase your cook time if you leave it there because you want to do a reduction. All right, so we'll come back with the next step. Okay, so we've removed the uh, liquid from the meat, and what we're going to do is add the beans. Take these two packets of this chicken taco mix. Spread it along the meat and the beans. Since I'm using two packets, I usually like to use a lower salt content. Black bean, if it's possible. Canned beans use less sodium just because there's two packets of mixture in here for tacos. So I added my cilantro and lime juice, diced tomatoes from Motel, and then the diced tomatoes. Now, there's a lot of liquid in here so that's good. That replaces the liquid that normally you would add with the packets. So at this stage, put the stove and turn it back on. I'm going to use quite a low setting at this point, really not much point in trying to mix everything up. As this thing heats up, this these tomatoes will liquefy quite a bit. And then you stir afterwards. So I'll just kind of flatten them out a little bit. Make sure that the flame is as low as you can get it. It's going to require some simmering time. So I'll put the lid on here and then just let it sit there for a little while, come back in 10 minutes and give it a good stir and mix everything up. Ok, 
Okay, so it's been a few minutes and we're going to give this thing a stir. So, there's a little bit of juice in here from the tomatoes. Basically, what we want to do is just turn things over a little bit, get the spice and the tomato mixture all over the meat. It smells wonderful. You really want to make sure that flame is not too high because you want this to cook slowly. As they say, less is more. When it comes to propane grills and propane stoves, they really put out a lot of heat, so you don't need much gas. In fact, this propane tank is a year old and it's been uh, filled only one time. We've cooked on it outside many, many times. Got a nice sufficient mixture here. Got mixed up nicely. Everything's distributed nicely. Break up any larger pieces of meat. Any ingredients that fall out, try to put them back in there. Put the lid back on top. And then make sure that flame is as low as we can get it. The idea is to simmer this and let it all that flavor get into the meat and let the liquid go down by evaporating. And when it's done, it'll be time to serve. Since we're doing everything off grid. tortillas in what I call the camping microwave oven, which is a, a steamer with a little bit of water in a pan underneath. So we'll use that a little later on when the time comes. So check on it often, stir as needed. Don't let the heat get too high and make sure it doesn't burn on the bottom. So the time for this is probably about 30 to 40 minutes of low simmering. Keep your wind guards up if it's windy outside so that the flame doesn't blow out. And as always, since you're using a flame on a propane stove, monitor it. Don't let kids get in the way or you know, pets get into the food. So make sure you're watching what's going on. Okay, so the burrito mixture is completed. So, what I just want to show is that down there the liquid is non-existent. It's not completely dried out, but we've let it uh, reduce down. And I turned off the flame on this side over here. And then on this side on the right is the steamer. So since we're working with steam underneath, just check on that. You know, be careful of steam burns. Those tortillas are going to cook so quickly. So over here I'm going to turn off the gas and then let the pressure drop so what we're going to do is take the pressure from the hose and allow the rest of the gas in there to go out into the stove so it's burned off so when we disconnect the stove components there's no leftover gas and we can allow this to complete its cook so very very little cook time for the tortillas you let that sit there while the gas is stopped for about 15-20 seconds, and those tortillas will be ready. Okay, so we finished cooking the tortilla meat. I put it on my stove inside the house. And we have some gluten-free corn tortillas that were stored inside of this tortilla cooker. Anyways, I'll put that on a plate, and we will make a tortilla, a burrito from the tortilla. So I like lots of cheese on there, some people don't like cheese, some people like to put other things on there. I'm using Tabasco Chipotle sauce, gives it a great flavor. Then I put the meat on here, maybe some lettuce if you like that, or any other condiments, salsa, sour cream. So the idea is to get the proper ratio of meat to tortilla. 
so that he can fold this thing correctly. So I'm going to attempt to fold this correctly, but I haven't had a lot of training to do this. So we fold down the bottom to kind of act as a lip to prevent the tortilla meat from coming out the bottom. Didn't do a very good job, but it's kind of good enough. All you have to do is eat it at this stage. So there's your tortilla. Enjoy. One more note about the propane tanks. This tank here is a normal 20 pound propane tank. So if you took this with you on a camping trip, you can imagine how much weight that you're going to have to lug around. And you probably have much more propane than you would ever need. So for this video, when I was shooting it on this camping stove here, I used a smaller propane tank. This is the smallest propane tank that you can get that is refillable. The amount of propane in here is about four times as much as the one pound disposable tank. This is refillable so you don't have a bunch of things to throw away. And the amount of propane in 2003 dollars when this was last filled was three dollars to fill this. So you can imagine the economics involved for that. The nice thing about this is you don't have propane tanks to throw away when you're done. And this thing is very, very light and easy to handle compared to the other size. So it's nice to use when you're using it with the stove. I've had this filled for over a year now and I have cooked many meals outside here. I've gone on camping trips and I still have propane in that tank. So you can imagine how nice it would be to have a small tank like this. So think about that the next time you go on a camping trip. As always, thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate it. Take care and enjoy.